last year at the uh, Southern Cover Crop Conference. I met Mr. Kornecki and saw his device uh, lay down some heavy cover crop taller than me. And I saw some 30 inch row beans and was just amazed at the mass between the rows. It had no herbicide treatment on it. The beans were beautiful. I'm sure it was holding a lot of moisture, so I was very impressed with that. So rollers aren't new. They're reasonably new to me. I've never done a test ply with a roller. When I was fortunate enough to go down to North Carolina, I got to see several different types up close. The roller that we experimented with by Dr. Ted Kornecki is the one that really caught my eye. He uses a, a roller to lay the rye down, and he uses a series of gangs with angle iron on rollers that actually fractures the cell walls of the plant, giving the plant mechanical depth. The spring mechanism that he uses is very simple and ingenious. It's probably the best part about the design is that it doesn't require a lot of weight. The spring mechanism that slams these particular pieces of angle iron on these rollers down is what really lays the plant on the ground and does an outstanding job. What is the next step? Well, to clarify, I love rolling. I love cover crop. The next goal probably is to roll more acres to figure out a way of how to do that because I was very impressed. Local people in their government offices you know, I have a lot of crazy dreams about stuff and, and they listen to them and uh, lo and behold, sometimes they work out. They managed to bring a man from 800 miles away to conduct an experiment that I was interested in. Everybody pulled in, everybody made this happen and I am very appreciative to uh, everyone involved.